Hello, my friends in Christ. Good to be with you on this Saturday morning as we come together for the thought for the day. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2. And as I was going through this chapter of the Bible, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 really stood out in my heart, in my mind, personally. Um, where it talks about proud people boasting of themselves, puffing themselves up. But at the end of the verse speaks of how the righteous or the just shall live by faith. And this is something that's repeated three times in the New Testament. You can read in Romans chapter 1, verse 17, Galatians chapter 3, verse 11, and Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38, where it's repeated, the just or the righteous shall live by faith. Faith in Jesus Christ and not ourselves. This is why we have to be careful of getting proud. I was reading recently the story of Jacob and uh, how he wrestled with God in Genesis chapter 32, verses 24 to 32. And we know the story. He wrestled with the Lord and uh, was a man at first, but he came to realize that it was God. And uh, he came out with a um, broken hip or a messed up hip, probably walked with a limp for the rest of his life. And it reminded me of uh, how we too can get proud and try to wrestle with God and uh, come out with some lame uh, a way about us, whether physically or mentally or emotionally. It's happened to me January 1st, 2003, uh, over 20 years ago, growing up very proud of how weight, how strong I was in weightlifting and the body that I built and having women admire me, looking at my body. Well, on January 1st, 2003, trying to lift a lot of weight, I pulled out my back and I can tell you since then, I haven't been the same. Recently, I've been battling with a um, pinched nerve in my lower back. But my friends, what I'm trying to say is, is that we need to be careful of pride. Pride is often something we see in others, but we don't see it in ourselves. And Romans chapter 2 verse 11 tells us that God is not a respecter of persons. Um, whether you're powerful or not, pride is something we all struggle with. I, I know there's a memoir coming out recently now of uh, former President Barack Obama and his life and the writer of this uh, biography is saying that how he knows him personally and knew that he was a very proud man very proud of the color of his skin being proud to be black uh, struggling with um, thoughts of homosexuality and and fantasizing about having relationships with other men and it reminded me of my own life again. I never struggled really with being proud of being white, but I struggled with pride over my body that I had. Uh, I never really struggled with uh, gay thoughts or homosexual thoughts, but I struggled with how many girls I can have. And as I said, God is not a respecter of persons. Galatians chapter two, verse 10 says, if we break one letter of the law, we're guilty of them all. So we could look at someone very powerful like the former president or someone like myself who lives in a small little town and uh, works as a custodian in a public school. And God is not a respect of persons. I recently met the president uh, at USC when his daughter graduated with my daughter in May. And um, I was hoping to get close to him so I could speak to him about repenting and turning to Christ. I was thinking of Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 5 where Christ said, unless one repents, they will perish. And that went for me in 1985 when a man brought me to church when I was 19 years old. I was called to repent of my sins, and by the grace of God, I did. And it's a daily battle. But you see, my friends, we all struggle with pride, whether it's the way you look, the color of your skin, the money you have. Uh, and as I said, oftentimes, pride and sexual immorality go together. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 49, reminds us that Sodom, along with her sister Gomorrah, were judged by God. Traditionally, we know because of a lot of homosexuality was going on there, but it says in that verse of Ezekiel, also because of their pride. I look back at my life, there were times when I was so proud of how I looked, and I admired having girls looking at me. It's all boasting, it's pride. Proverbs 16, verse 18 says, Pride goes before a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. Whether, it was, whether it's in my life, a former president's life. I remember boxers. I used to love boxing. And I looked up to a lot of fighters like Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. And they would often talk about how they were the greatest. 
how they were the toughest man in the world, nobody could beat them. And yet look at what happened in their lives. Both were defeated, uh, both went through very difficult times in their life. Sadly, Muhammad Ali died in 2016. Uh, I was told, you know, recently reading his biography, a little bit of his biography, uh, trying to understand a little bit of what he went through later on in his life. He basically couldn't even clean himself, couldn't even feed himself. My friends, God has a way of humbling the proud. That is why we have to walk by faith. We have to walk by faith in Christ. When we do that, we will put away the flesh. We will put away the pride. You often hear me remind us in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34, and James chapter 4, verse 6, and 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. God gives grace to the humble, but he opposes the proud. When scripture verses are repeated, whether walking by faith, the righteous shall walk by faith, or how God gives grace to the humble, the pope, but opposes the proud, we need to be careful what we're listening to. It's like when Christ would say verily, verily, or truly, truly, what he was going to say next is of importance. And whenever scripture verses are repeated, there's importance. Importance in my life. I see a nation of America where I live and the pride and the arrogance. I saw on the news yesterday, in the, I think it was in New York City, where some YouTube, YouTube influencer was uh, promising to give out free PlayStations or free stuff. And thousands and thousands of people mobbed that place caused a riot um it's sad you know it's it, i could only say this what's going on in this country i only see god's judgment his righteous judgment because this nation has turned its back on god i wish that these young people instead of rioting to get a free playstation would be rioting to keep unborn babies alive i wish they were rioting to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and shout it out on the mountaintops. But we're living in a day, my friends, where there is so much pride in this country. And as I said, we need to be careful that we don't judge others of their pride and not see it in ourselves. I hope today's devotional video, my friends, will encourage us to truly and humbly walk in faith in Jesus Christ, not in our own theological knowledge and how much we know of the Bible. It's important to have good doctrine and know the Word of God. But remember, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1 says, Knowledge can puff up, but love edifies. Stay humble in the sight of the Lord. Love Christ from your heart. Love others more than yourself. And let us walk in humility before God. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. We'll see this devotional video today. Lord, forgive me of the pride that's been often exhibited in my own life. May we stay humble in your sight, in Jesus' name. God bless.